Today we will discuss about sequence of our index views. My name is Rahul Kar and I welcome you on our YouTube channel Decode ITES. Decode ITS provides you single learning platform for multiple IT technologies. Let's go with the description and characteristics of index view one by one. Index views are also called materialized views. Regular and standard views save the query to hide query complexity and business logic. However, does not give any query performance, whereas index view save query along with data like a table. Index views give performance benefit on index execution on the cost of extra overhead on underlying tables. Each data change that happen on table will be automatically changed in index view. On each DML operation, DB Indian needs to update the corresponding index view index that cause extra overhead in writing or deleting data from base tables. While creating index view, you need to mention all objects reference in two parts schema name dot object name. You cannot reference other views or tables from other database while creating index views. That means when you are creating index views, all tables should be a part of single database. Cross database tables are not allowed in index views. Use of exist, non exist, count star, outer join, union, minim, max, subqueries, table hints, top is not possible with an index view. Data type, text, and text images and XML cannot be used in index views. You should remember two powerful hints expand and no expand while working on performance issue on table hints. Expand hint force DB engine not to use the index of index views and expand this search to the table for better indexes. In opposite to it, no expand restricts the DB engine to use indexed view index only. This is something completely depends on the query and the requirements. When you think that your particular query is better to run with index view index, you can use this table hint. Somehow, this is something you are overriding the DB engine capabilities to decide the better index for your query. Prerequisites to create index view. There are two prerequisites to create index view. In schema binding views. Views should be created with schema binding option. Schema binding views bind the table structure and you cannot name any modification. This is to ensure that your index view will not be impacted due to structural changes in the table. In case of any changes needed, you need to drop the view. Unique cluster index. Once your schema binding view is created, you need to create a unique cluster index on the view. This index will maintain the data for your view. Let's move to SQL Server instance for demo session. Let's start with the demo session of index views or metalized views. For this, first we create one normal view without index and schema binding option. And uh, this is the statement create view view name and select query. And you can just execute it. Let's check the space used by this index. We can see no rows, no reserve data, no data size, no index size. Everything is zero. Now we will create one view with the schema binding option. In index views, you can't mention the asterisk. You need to mention the column name. So we have mentioned the columns here. Let's create a schema binding view. View is created. Let's check the size of this view as well. See, this is again the zero. No those, no reserve data. Now we will create a unique cluster index over the index views on employee key column. And when you run it, it's complete successfully. Let's check the size again. You can see now view is having 296 rows and some reserve data and some index sizes are there and some unused sizes are there. That means once you create the index over it, it fetch that data from the table and keep a copy with it. So as and when user comes and requests a data for this particular view, this view need not to go to the table every time and it can give you a performance benefit at the time of execution of query. SQL Server index views are the critical and the special type of tool in DBA's hand. You should plan to use it on a specific purpose only because when you use it, it impacts the performance of underlying tables and that can give you a further performance issues with application and users using that particular table for other requirements. 
we have completed our today's session over indexed views thanks for watching for any questions please leave comment on videos or contact us